Well, hey everybody, I'm Paul Gross. Let's get you updated with the forecast and we have a dry evening ahead. It's been a pretty nice day. The clouds did increase later in the afternoon, but overall it was a very pleasant day. Now overnight, we're talking particularly after midnight, scattered showers developing, not everybody getting one at any one particular time and certainly nothing violent here. And that just kind of continues as a general pattern into Sunday morning. So if you have an early morning tea time, uh, you might not be getting rain, but then maybe you get a shower later. It just depends. And then the only batch of, I guess we'll call it a little more widespread shower activity. Looks like it's going to be the southern half of the area during the late morning, early afternoon. And that's going to start shifting off to the east, maybe before it exits the area. To in the south in particular, there might be a rumble of thunder, but overall notice by four o'clock, many of us have had the rain end and then that will continue into the evening hours. So the evening hours on Sunday will be dry and everybody's asking about the northern lights. So let's just talk about that for a minute. Now, first of all, we're going to be cloudy tonight, so we're not we wouldn't be able to see them anyway, but I don't want you to think you're missing something because I follow this stuff and it looks like the Aurora ring is going to be pushed south, but it's going to stop north of the Great Lakes. Maybe if they had clear skies, people in the UP could look north and maybe they'd see some northern lights, but I don't see any way that those things, unless some other big explosion from the sun that, that occurred is going to push this further south, I just don't see this stuff coming down our way. So don't think you're going to miss anything tonight. All right, speaking of tonight, mostly cloudy. Again, possible light showers, particularly after midnight. Overnight low, a little bit milder than this morning, 58 degrees. Some of us were actually in the 40s this morning. That's right. So tomorrow, 75 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, but there could be a few breaks of sun. Again, scattered showers through the day, maybe a rumble of thunder to the south during the early afternoon period. Monday, 80 degrees, I think a mainly dry day. Some computer models are increasing the moisture and trying to spit out a couple of thunderstorms just widely scattered in the late afternoon. Right now, I think we're going to stay dry. Most of us will stay dry on Monday, but just keep an eye on the radar in our app just in case. Uh, 80 degrees Monday, 86 and humid on Tuesday. It's going to be a real sultry summer day there, breezy day. Breezy on Wednesday as well, but we have a cold front coming through Tuesday night with some showers and storms. By Wednesday, that's 73 with the breezy conditions. It's going to feel like fall out there. And then Thursday, Friday, nice sunshine, lighter wind, but low 70s for highs. And by the way, by the time we get to Thursday, Friday morning, once again, some of the uh, northern and far western suburbs are going to see 40s for lows. And we've had to now introduce the, at least the chance for a thunderstorm next Saturday.